Hello again and welcome to Indu Dubai Fafa. Hello family. Thank you again for gracing me with your presence today and welcome to my creative cooking channel in Dubai Fafa. Right. So in a previous video, I covered how to make one's best tuna stew which of course had some vegetables included i slow cooked the onions the carrots added some salt then my tomato puree went in that was fried quickly and then i added some chili flakes and from then on my blended tomato and sweet pepper mixture you know where i'm going with this bay leaf represented in that stew and of course the pièce de stones the tuna of flakes that went in and you know they were happy in the pot and of course green beans also represented some onions and there some colorful vegetables like this is how simple this is and this is the base of my dish because of course the leftover i refrigerated it and now it became an easier option for me when i was having my lunch now the detailed video i'll leave a link in the description box so you can watch it and familiarize yourself with it so now to the main recipe so to my saucepan i've just added some water and so that I'm now going to be adding my bucatini, which is a form of pasta, but it's thicker. And when I say thicker, in comparison to spaghetti, spaghetti is thinner. And these are readily available in most supermarkets and you can find it online. Now, if you're in Ghana, help a sister out and yeah, just grab one of Delay's um, spaghetti and make this dish. Yes. And please tag me when you do. So anyway, here I'm just going to add my bucatini to it. <laughs> Basically tuna pasta, really. And um, I'm just going to allow this to boil. Of course, I need my salt to taste. And this will take me about six to seven minutes. But then again, always pay attention to the instructions on your package and that will tell you the cooking time that you should go for because you want it to be el dente and just beautiful so soft but also has a bite you know what i mean so my bucatini is ready and i have strained the water yes but i left a little bit in the bottom and this is still on that heat now i'm just going to quickly add my tuna stew and of course i'm going to mix everything together until it's well combined this is such an easy flavor packed meal to have for your lunch or for your dinner particularly if you've tried making the tuna stew recipe cost effective as well and it's also packed with natural flavors may i say mm -hmm. are you inspired to definitely try the recipe um yes if you do please let me know by leaving comments below with your feedback when you do try the recipe yes and i think i'm ready let me serve myself and then i can go back to writing another recipe Yes. Now, if you do like what you see, please don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment with your feedback or your words of encouragement. Yes, because I do love hearing from you guys. It does motivate me a lot, family. I appreciate that. Notification gang, I appreciate you guys a lot. And if you haven't activated notifications, please do so. Um, yes, because if you don't, then it means whenever I upload a video, you're not notified of it. And the probability of you finding out that I've got a new recipe is low so yes i don't want you to miss anything because you are great and amazing and special to me mm. so here i've got my tuna bucatini ready um a little bit on the dry side but that's how i like it you can actually leave a little bit more of the pasta water in and that would help for you to get like that saucy consistency if that's what you want but i like it this way anyway it's now time for me to drizzle this beauty with my extra virgin olive oil and yes, I'm using a very good olive oil here. And then the next thing is I had a little bit of my Parmesan cheese. So I just grated a little bit on that. Mm.
So talking about simple lunch recipes or ideas, I made the Gary photo recipe and yes, I used the tuna stew for it. Now, if you do have couscous, try it and do tag me when you do. I'd love that. As for me, I'm hungry at this point. Chop time, no friend. I've just scooped that, eating it, enjoying the flavors. Exactly. <laughs> so yes, naturally I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilberts.com. Do check it out. I've also got more incredible recipes on my other blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com. You'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as Indudubaifafa. So pass by and stay high. No, I'll thank you very much for my theme song and until my next recipe, which is incredible, by the way. Take care of you. Be nice. Be beautiful. And thank you very much for watching. Because me, I love you. So.